hello again and welcome back to the channel richard back again with another video and today it's the james bond collection episode 007 so uh obviously uh there's been six parts before hopefully you've enjoyed them and uh today for something special because it's part seven uh, i'm looking at the big box warner home video releases as you can see in front of you uh, i've got some other rentals as well to show after but uh, let's make a move uh, some of these obviously are in a little bit of bad condition now um but they are pretty pretty old now um it was pre-certification as well this was 1982 this one um, you can see this lovely clamshell case that Warner used for the big boxes um, mostly used for rentals this one's in excellent condition um, always loved the artwork on the front of these Warner videos um, and the backs are pretty much the same so quickly show you inside uh, we've got the Warner home video emboss work on the left and here's the cassette as you can see the big box so let's move on to from russia with love again a really nice bit of art on the front don't think i've seen this elsewhere there's the back package design uh, warner home video Marketed by WEA Records Limited, a Warner Communications company. Uh, video cassette screening time, it says, approximately 118 minutes long, certificate PG colour. Um, just quickly show you inside on this one, exactly the same. So, next, one of my faves. The artwork on this is brilliant. It's just simple, simplistic, but I really like it. Goldfinger, and again the same on the back. Not returnable with sticker removed. So it's not the complete set. I am missing a couple. Um, Live and Let Die, and For Your Eyes Only, and The Spy Who Loved Me isn't the British one. It's the Japanese, but uh, I'll get there one day. I'm not looking for them. Uh, if I come across them, I will add them, and you'll see them in a future video. This one's in really good neck. There's Donald Pleasance as Blofeld. And then, You Only Live Twice. Again, just a simple shot on the back and a simple shot on the front. Everything else is the same. Then we go to George Lazenby with On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Again, quite unique artwork, I believe. Not seen it since. As you can see, no mention here of MGM. Warner Home Video and United Artists logo on there. Then Sean Connery returned to the role of James Bond with Diamonds Are Forever. I have seen this artwork elsewhere. Again, nice condition. Released in 1983 on Home Video. And then The Man With The Golden Gun. Different type of case for this one. Uh, I will open this one up. Nice artwork there with Sir Roger Moore in the lead role, of course. Again, this is in good condition. Uh, these do like to fall apart, these clamshells. You can see it is starting to break at the back. But um, yeah, really lovely uh, work inside here. You can see that uh, that logo. Yeah, nice back for that one. Uh, next is The Spy Who Loved Me. This is the Japanese release. So slightly different case, but same design. Uh, same logo on the British case as this. Um, 
do like how the Japanese font does make everything look so much cooler. Uh, great case these as well. Um, they're quite unique these to Japan I believe. I've not seen them in the US or the UK. Really firm, built to last. There's the cassette and we have the title on the side. Nice release this one. Moving on, that takes us to Moonraker. And this one is in stereo. So title song by Shirley Bassey. Stereo logo on the spine. Yep, first time that's happened. There's Jaws on the back. Uh, Dolby Stereo. Copyright 1982. And there's a look at the inside of this one. Next up, Octopussy. Uh, this is back to a clamshell. Nice artwork. It's got rental plastered all over this one. Uh, let's have a look at the back. So two photos on this one. 127 minutes long. And there's the inside. This one isn't cracking yet. Really nice. Nice gold touch with the top of the cassette cover. Moving on, released the same year, not part of James Bond Eon's production series, but um, yes, Never Say Never Again did get a Warner Brothers home video release. Again, in stereo from 1983, I believe, or 82. So looks the same, same style on the back. This one's uh, released in 84. Yeah, what was Octopussy? Was that 84 as well? 83. Okay. So, yeah, looks the same. Same style inside as well. Okay, a little bit of a break from here. I've also got the USA release of Never Say Never Again on Betamax, um, which says it's adult action. Uh, there's a look at the side. It's a little bit different to the UK cases. You get this um, this blue effect, which I think changes colours on various other releases. Uh, they're saying the real 007 is back. So that's how the USA release uh, looks for Never Say Never Again. And inside, we've got some nice embossed work going on and the Betamax. There's the cassette. Just sits in that one spindle. If you've not seen one before, the better format, but unfortunately, didn't win. So, moving on back to the official collection, we have A View to a Kill. Uh, Roger Moore's last one. Again, in the clamshell. Not bad condition, but it is starting to deteriorate. Uh, this one in Dolby Stereo as well. Different design for the back on this one, as you can see, compared to the previous release. Uh, 1985 for this one. And there's the inside. Fuji branded cassette on that one. Then we move on to Timothy Dalton, who had a great start. I, I really enjoyed both of his movies, uh, The Living Daylights and Licence to Kill. This obviously is Living Daylights. Again, stereo hi-fi. And we have the new style back, which I believe is similar to... Not slightly different again. 
this 1986 or 7 did they release it 87 so the movie came out in 86 and this was from 1987 love the artwork as many have pointed out um his hairstyle is the wrong way round they've reversed the image and there's inside don't think there was any flip art on this no okay and next up was license to kill um timothy dalton's last and then bond went on a bit of a hiatus unfortunately um this was different back in the day um a lot didn't like it i know i didn't i wasn't a huge fan of it bond selling out going to america etc but um yeah come to love it over the last few years uh and this has the same style as the living daylights with the time along the bottom now and we notice this uh vprc starting to appear on the videos go inside blue cover cassette and we've got a different type of style for sticker so you see shiny shiny gold so when bond came back mgm obviously were plastered all over everything by now um so we have goldeneye and uh, this was obviously pierce brosnan uh, this one's in good condition but it's not as old as the others we've got a dts stereo and dolby surround at the bottom and this was distributed by warner home video still um, but obviously no mention of United Artists. It's mostly MGM, even though it does say MGM stroke UA home video. But you notice the, the big Warner home video logo, which we've all loved, has disappeared from Bond. So go inside. Nothing special about these later ones. Um, just wanted them to complete the collection. So, after Goldeneye, obviously we had Tomorrow Never Dies, so I do have that one. And the UA has disappeared now. And we have Dolby Surround Stereo on this one, no DTS. And that's the inside. Next up, Pierce Brosnan's third outing as James Bond. We've got The World Is Not Enough. Quite like the artwork on this one. Uh, there's a look at the spine. Getting quite colourful now. There's the back. With these new banners coming in, etc. And we have a colour on the label. And we have a Blockbuster sticker. Just to remind, please rewind. Thanks. The end. And finally, for this video, just let me check. Um, yeah. So, this was distributed by Warner. And The World Is Not Enough is the first Fox one. So this was released by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. And so the last movie for Pierce Brosnan was Die Another Day. And again, I've got the rental box for this, uh, which says on it for rental viewing only. This one again from 20th Century Fox. And that's how it looks inside. So that is it. Um, that is what I wanted to do for episode 7 I uh, yeah, really like this collection uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a like and please consider subscribing sharing, commenting be good to hear in the comments what you think of these uh, of these releases in this latest release uh, latest video sorry 
And um, yeah, I'll be back very soon with part eight. Um, still sorting through all the stuff. Got a few more videos to go yet. But uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.